Hello everyone. Today we're going to go over everything you need to get started on Canva. We'll have a general overview and then look at some of the specific elements you'll need to create a project. I'm starting off on the Canva homepage and I'm logged into my account. So if your homepage looks different, it may be because you haven't either created or logged into an account. So keep that in mind. There are numerous ways that you can start a project. And if you look at the top middle, there's a lot of different options. And you can also, if you click on one of them, it'll give you template, potential templates. There's social media, marketing, office. There's all kinds of option, options. Another way to look at all the templates is to go up templates up here and it's a little more specific on the different options you have. And then the way I usually do it is go to create a design and I pick whatever project I want to do. Today I'm going to be making a poster for a club me and Gabi are going to start soon, podcast club. After I click on poster, it takes me to the Canva design page. This is where we're going to do all our designing. And as you'll notice over here on the left hand side, there are lots of options for potential projects, but I have something specific. So I want to type that in. Also notice how on this bar there's a lot of options. I'll talk more about it in a sec, but I'm on templates on the top left. I'm first going to type in podcast, see what pops up. One thing to note is on lots of the pictures, they'll have a little crown that says pro. Those cost money if you don't have a pro account. Um, I don't have a pro account and I've been using my free account for a while. So I think I, they've been really pushing for me to get pro. I'm looking for something that's podcasty, that's free. A lot of things are pro. I'm going to try something else. Sometimes you have to improvise a little. I'm going to try microphone. That one looks good as music, though. I'm going to go with this one because there's quotations. It seems more like dialogue, more like talking. Okay, I picked my template. And as with many design platforms, to move things around, you just left click and drag and it'll move. If you wanted to change how big it is, you can grab the handles on the corner or on the side and it'll change the side, the size of whatever object you are have selected. I'm going to left click move this down so the cord isn't showing. And I obviously want to change the title. I'm going to put in podcast club with your host Preston. And I put the first date of podcast club for now Let me change it. Zoom. And I want to delete that here at the bottom, open mic nine, and I don't really need to put anything. I'm going to move this quotation marks a little bit. And then obviously we're not Corny State College, Northwest Indian College. And we'll click out of there, left click, maybe get it. A little more centered. No, don't like it centered. Okay. As you'll notice, I have a poster. It took me all of what four minutes, three minutes. That's one of the great things about Canva is you can design with templates whatever you need really quick. Now you may want to start from scratch, and that's certainly an option. And we'll actually go over how to add objects here in just a second. But know that if you are feel more confident about your design skills, 
you can start from scratch. I don't do that very often when I'm using Canva because I usually need to um, come up with something really quick. Over here on the left hand side is what I call the object toolbar. And this is how you add things to Canva. So it's a really important part of Canva. I'm going to click on Elements. As you'll notice, there are lots of things pop up. You have shapes, graphics, photos, videos, audio. Videos and audio, obviously, you wouldn't use that for a poster, but potentially for a presentation. And there's other type of projects where you could potentially use that. Let's see, let's see if I can add something. I'm just going to maybe add a line to Northwest Indian College, something really subtle. And I can't get it quite where I want it, so this brings up something that you'll often need to do is adjust the zoom. I'm going to bring my zoom in, scroll up this line a little bit more where I want it. I think that looks all right. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit so I can see my whole poster. That works, right? And so that's what elements are. Here's uploads. You can upload your own media, your own videos, your own audio. And as you'll notice, I have already uploaded the NWIC logo. Um, to upload media, you'd go up here. Because I already have it uploaded, I'm just going to go ahead and select it. It pops up. Usually when I'm making a poster or a banner or anything for NWIC, I tend to put the logo in just to have some visibility, some branding. I might put it right here. Lots of the time, you know, that looks slightly weird. So lots of time I like to add a circle and going to adjust it. This brings up another important thing that comes up a lot when creating a poster. The circ I want the circle behind the logo, right? The way to do that is up here is what I call the formatting toolbar. There's a lot of different options. I'll go over some more stuff here shortly, but I want the position to change. And to do that, we can go to back. I'm just going to go backwards. And now it's behind, right? I kept going backwards. It just keeps going through all the various elements. I want it right there, just the size again. And it's not quite the color I want. I think I wanted the color, same color as the text and microphone. So the way to change the color is to go over here to the left, see color. One great thing about Canva is all the colors that are already in your poster. It has them um, at the top and it also has the colors of the photo, right? It's able to auto detect that. Then other colors. And if you know the hex code or want to type in a color, you can search for it that way. I'm going to click this yellow and voila, I got what I want. I don't think this is the best position. If I had more time, I'd probably fool around with that a little bit. I'll leave it right here for now. I would also, if I had time, I'd move these quotation marks some. So that's uploads. And this is your, again, this is your formatting bar. Let's actually look at a few other things. There's transparency. If you want to adjust that. That comes really in handy if your background's a picture and to put a um, put a shape behind your text and then make that shape transparent helps the text stick out more and also helps with accessibility um, things as well. You can add links to your text if you want. There's a few other options. I'll let you explore those. 
And then there's text. If you want to add more text, you can add a heading, subheading, etc. The text will be the same as your other headings or body text. Then they have custom text. I don't want to add any more text right now, but that's how you do that. You can insert videos. They have stock videos you can use. Then they have more options, and there's just tons of things that you can add. Bitmojis, a QR code, right? A QR, a QR code might come in handy if you are, if this poster is being printed and you're, you're posting it places. This is actually the website for my podcast. Just a little self-promotion thrown in here. But I could put this podcast down here at the bottom, and now people can scan and, and go to my podcast website. I wouldn't obviously use that for this poster if I was making it a real one, but another common element would be YouTube. Um, not for a poster, but for if you're making a presentation. And obviously there's just countless options, so I'll let you explore that. And the last toolbar we're going to look at is the one up here. I don't know what to call it, but there's file and there's numerous options if you want to show guides, um, etc. Show rulers. There is the title of my poster. It picked up the title already. One great thing about Canva is you can share it, kind of like Google Docs or Office.com, OneDrive. You can share, and that's a great way if you want somebody else to be able to present it, or if you want to work on a presentation or another project collaboratively, just like in Google Docs. Just set the permissions and click Copy Link and send that on over. There's insights, I've never used that. You can print it. Then on the very right, there's the three dots and there's a lot of different options. Present would be an important one if you're doing presentations. Obviously you're noticing I mentioned presentations a lot and that's the, the other reason, most common reason I use Canva. Um, you can present and record. That would be great for a presentation. And last but certainly not least is downloading. It's a down arrow on the line and it gives you options for file type. I actually want PNG so that I can insert that into emails. It's a little bit easier to insert PNGs into emails and you click download. If you have a free account, you can still download an image as many times as you want. Often I download the image and then I'm about to send it off on an email and I'm like, oh, there's something that's uneven. The perfectionist in me, right? So I'll come back into Canva and I'll edit it again and download it again. And usually do that about 10 times before I feel like my post is perfect. Um, okay, I can't really think of anything else that is essential to get started in Canva. I may be missing something, but obviously part of the learning process is not only doing what I've showed you, but also exploring, clicking different things. Um, there's specific things I haven't gone over, I would encourage you to do so. And I hope that you that your Canva experience goes great and that you start using it. Again, it's an easy, quick way to get professionally looking projects, and, and I love it. If you have any questions about Canva, please email elearning at nwrc.edu and we'll be able to help you with that and, and get you started. 
We obviously, with anything technology, multimedia, we love helping students and teachers and staff. All right, that's all, folks. Thank you so much for watching.